Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a top five metalworking tools or metalworking related tools from Harbor Freight. Just know that this is in a comprehensive list. I've not used every single tool that Harbor Freight has to sell that has to do with metalworking. So if you get to the end of this video and you find there's something you really think I should have mentioned or that I really shouldn't have mentioned, let me know down in the comments below what you think should have either been added to this list or maybe even potentially taken away. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. So go down, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. All right, so my number five tool, and the reason why this is number five, and I'll, I'll, I'll preface this with this, that these tools are not really in a particular order, except I will say that this one being at number five is kind of in a particular order. And that is just basically that I don't have as much use with this thing as I'd like to have. I bought an open box for like 20 bucks uh, back when they did that and put them on sale for super cheap. Um, they don't really do that anymore. And uh, looks like there's a little bit of fitment issue there. But um, I have used it a number of times and it's a great bandsaw, portable bandsaw. I just don't cut very straight with it. And so I pretty much just stick to like using my chops on stuff. But what I'd eventually like to do is get one of those swag off road stands uh, when I have more room in a bigger shop someday. And I'd like to mount it on one of those and use it for cutting material because I, I feel like that's kind of probably the best place for it. This portable bandsaw has been great and, and I'm really happy with it. I don't have any issues with it. It cuts really, really strong. The blades actually stand uh, stand up pretty well to use and I think it's a pretty great tool so if you need some kind of a portable bandsaw this is definitely worth picking up. Alright so my number four tool is unfortunately not with me anymore and you might be wondering why is this on the list if I no longer have the tool. I'll tell you this it did not break I sold the helmet that I'm talking about it's the red design auto darkening welding helmet from Harbor Freight with that machine. That's why I don't have it anymore. And the reason why I don't have it anymore and it is on this list and I decided to get rid of that one is because I have this one right here that came from Yes Welder. That's a fantastic welding helmet. It's got a much bigger viewing window. I like it way better, but it costs a good bit more. Now there is the Vulcan brand from Harbor Freight that they do sell and the Vulcan's probably great. It's probably every bit as good as this one. I've just never used it. And again, I'm kind of trying to go for value price stuff here. You know, it's a really good quality item. It works really well, but it's not gonna break the bank, even by Harbor Freight standards. Because a lot of Harbor Freight stuff's getting pretty expensive these days. They're getting up there with uh, like their best tier tools uh, with, you know, some of the name brand stuff. They're maybe keeping it a little bit under, but it's getting pretty close, some of it. So I had that red auto darkening welding, uh, red design auto darkening welding helmet for, I don't know, maybe three-ish years. Is the first auto darkening welding helmet I bought. I paid a little bit more for it than like the cheapest one because I just like the way it looked a lot better. The cheapest one looks really cheap. The red design I think looks pretty nice. It's got some nice like pinstriping. Not that it's really pinstriping, but some nice stripes on it. And it just looks like a nice, well-designed, good-looking welding helmet, nice paint on it. And it just doesn't look as cheap as the cheaper one. And I think it had a couple extra features. I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what it was. But I do think it's worth spending a few extra bucks to pick up that one over the cheapest one. So that's a great welding helmet. Consider picking it up as well. I don't have it here with me anymore, but uh, it was a great welding helmet and definitely deserves uh, a spot on the list. All right, so not that chop saws are the greatest tools for metal fabrication, but they are a great metal working tool. Definitely depending on what you're doing with your metal, but even for fabrication, they work. Just as a chop saw versus any other chop saw, it's a good machine. I really like the D-handle. A lot of people probably are sick of me talking about that, wondering why I think it's such a big deal. It's because I came from such a horrendous design on the Milwaukee one, and I just really like it. It's a great looking saw. It's a great working saw. It's uh, you know probably as loud as any other chop saw is. Um, and I just think it's a great tool all the way around. I think it deserves to be on the spot, not necessarily you know particularly in number three, uh, but it is a good working metal working tool and it deserves uh, some attention. I hope someday in the Hercules brand, Harbor Freight will come out with a cold cutting chop saw. So with the carbide tooth blade that cuts material much faster, it's supposed to last way longer than these abrasive blades. And uh, hopefully they come out with one of those someday. That'll probably take over this in the list um, because chop saws just kind of are what they are and that's okay. But it is still a good tool, definitely deserves to be on this list and is not any more imperfect really uh, than any other chop saw out there. Uh, there's just a couple features I've mentioned I wouldn't mind seeing on it. But as far as Harbor Freight goes, fantastic tool. 
consider picking up the chop saw if that's a tool you're considering picking up from Harbor Freight. It is definitely uh, within the top five of their metalworking tools that I've used um, that I really like and don't plan to get rid of ever. All right, guys, the number two item on this list is this Chicago Electric Welding Cabinet that you can rest a MIG welder on top of or a stick welder or whatever kind of machine you have. Put a gas bottle on the back, rest on the back, chains to the cabinet. I don't have the best uh, angles on this thing, so uh, I apologize for that. But you guys get the idea. It is a pretty good quality cabinet. It's, it's made out of reasonably thick enough material, probably not any thinner than any other really standard toolbox. Comes with a number of drawers. I don't want to go too into depth on this because I would like to do a review on this thing on its own. Uh, but plenty of space, uh, really good cabinet, good wheels, and just a really good place to start when you start welding with a nice, you know, above average welding cart to keep tools, parts, and materials inside of. I do believe that they have a Vulcan, one of these. Well, it's not one like this, but it's its own setup. It's a much bigger, more expensive cabinet. I may consider picking one of those up someday. They look pretty nice. The Chicago Electric one is definitely a good starter setup. I think it's a fantastic cabinet. Definitely worth picking up if you would like. So that brings us to our number one tool in this list. This Bauer rat tail angle grinder has seen by far the most use out of all of these angle grinders. Uh, even the Hercules, the Hercules one is great. Uh, this Bauer one is great. We're talking about the rat tail here, this long handle. I like the switch on it. It has a nice uh, trigger switch instead of these locking switches. Uh, gives me a little bit better purchase on the handle. Uh, or on the grinder to give myself two really good solid holding positions. Not that, you know, this doesn't offer that. Uh, just the ergonomics of that is definitely a little bit better, uh, especially for long-term grinding jobs. I use it a lot for when I'm doing some really, really heavy grinding. I probably would have to say if I started out with this angle grinder and I was not really into uh, reviewing and talking about tools on YouTube, I probably would just buy like three to five of these and I'd just be completely happy with them. Uh, really fantastic tool. I, I, you know, the price point on, I think these days, well, with everything going up even more than they already have, I complain about this in probably almost every video. Uh, they might be like 40 bucks now. That's actually what I paid for it, but they did go on sale for like 35, maybe even as low as $30 once in a while. A fantastic angle grinder at that price point. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go with the more name brand ones. That could go for any of this stuff, really. But this Bauer Angle Grinder, if, you into the, if you're into the Harbor Freight tools and you like the Bauer stuff or even just uh, their angle grinders and power, some of their power tools in general, this is a fantastic angle grinder. So that is my top five metalworking tools from Harbor Freight. Of course, this isn't, uh, like I said, comprehensive list. I've not used everything. Um, I have to leave some stuff out. I can only pick five. Uh, Harbor Freight really, in my opinion, is a fantastic place to go to for DIY welders. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Harbor Freight's great, especially, like I said, for metalworking. I really hope you guys will go down, give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you're not a subscriber, click subscribe below to get more content like this. And as always, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. We'll see you next time.